Hello guy welcome back to my channel YouTube speaking news. Today I have good news for share to everyone. Nissan is expanding its line of electric vehicles with the 2023 Aria SUV, which will go on sale in the US in fall 2022. The Aria will join the Leaf hatchback in the Nissan showroom and will offer up to 300 miles of driving range, which beats the Leaf's maximum of 226. The Aria's design represents a shift from the current sharp, angular lines seen on many of Nissan's vehicles. The low, wide stance of the Aria differentiates it from the road and gives it a sportier look. Two different battery sizes will be offered a 63.0 kWh battery as standard, and a larger 87.0 kWh pack is optional as well as either front or all-wheel drive. A host of driver assistance features, infotainment tech, and convenience items will be included here, helping the 2022 Aria compete with similarly sized EV crossovers, such as the Tesla Model Y and Hyundai Kona Electric. The Aria is an all-new vehicle for Nissan. It features Nissan's new semi-autonomous driving system, ProPilot 2.0, which debuted on the Japanese market Nissan Skyline sedan. The Aria is said to deliver up to 300 miles of driving range, but only when equipped with the optional dual front slash rear motor drive configuration and the larger 87.0 kWh battery pack. The Aria's $47,125 starting price puts it above the Leaf and other affordable EVs, but under the base price of the Model Y. We're of the mi mindset that to successfully switch from gasoline to electricity, range is key, so we'd stick with the entry-level Venture Plus trim which boasts the longest driving range among the Aria's four trim levels. Unlike the Leaf, which comes only with front-wheel drive, Nissan is pulling from features developed in other cars, including the GTR Sports Cars Torque Split System, to offer optional all-wheel drive via a dual front-slash-rear electric motor configuration. We estimate that the all-wheel drive Aria will zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5.0 seconds, a feat that is similar to higher-end electric vehicles. The base front-wheel drive model will likely be slower, but we still expect it to offer peppy acceleration that's a characteristic of EV powertrains. Nissan says the Venture Plus offers up to 300 miles of driving range per charge, which is quite the step up from the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. The Evolve Plus and Premier models offer up to 285 miles per charge, and the top-spec Platinum Plus is supposedly good for up to 265. Similarly sized vehicles include Jaguar's I-Pace and Audi's e-tron, which have 234 and 204 miles of range, respectively. Key rivals from Tesla offer claimed ranges of over 300 miles. The Aria will be capable of charging at home on 110 or 240 volt outlets as well as at public charging stations and even DC fast charging ports. The Aria's interior looks futuristic and minimal. Nissan appears to have discarded every button possible in pursuit of a smooth dashboard that favors a sleek look to match the design of the exterior. Despite Nissan's claim that the Aria's cabin is unlike a traditional automotive interior, its minimalistic theme appears to be its sole unique trait. Not that the cabin doesn't look like a nice place to spend time. A flat, low floor is said to increase the spacious feeling inside, and Nissan has incorporated its comfy zero-gravity seats into the design. Nissan has also divulged details about the infotainment system and connectivity features, and it looks quite nice. Dual 12.3-inch displays serve as both the digital gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and in-dash navigation should all be standard features. The Aria concept that was shown in 2019 had a feature that allowed the car to sync with the schedule of the driver, so it can preheat or pre-cool the interior while it's parked and charging, and therefore not draw on the power from the battery. The concept also showed off technology that would allow the driver to use their phone to park the Aria automatically from a nearby location using ProPilot's Remote Park, a system similar to Tesla's Smart Summon feature. Nissan hasn't said yet if these features will make it to the production model. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for receiving the news that you see first. Goodbye see you at the next video.